Hi, Mom. It's me, MJ. I haven't talked to you in like six weeks. That's a long time for us, isn't it? It really is, considering we used to talk twice daily for almost six months and before that, once a day for over a year. But that all changed on National Elder Awareness Abuse Day when I tried to get a hold of you and I called multiple times again, but the staff at your nursing home were playing their horrid games until the director actually told me not to call back again. She lied and tried to twist the situation around and say that I was harassing her staff members when we both, you and I, are the victims of the harassment multiple times. So with that said, Mama, I know you're probably wondering where I am and more than likely feel that you're You've been deserted yet again by another family member because you do not and you hardly hear from my other siblings. And I know you recently lost your husband in December and then unexpectedly lost your special needs daughter, my sister, in April. And now you are being violated and banned and abused mentally as well as I am being abused mentally by that staff in Vermont because truly what right do they have to make up lies and to keep two God-hearted people apart in this horrific pandemic that we are facing in our great country. What right, I ask you? Why are you doing this? Are you so democratic? Are you so heartless? Are you so socially communist that you think it is ever okay in our great United States of America that you're gonna get away with this and allow this to happen and think that in your illegal court systems there, that, that you're gonna continue with this abuse? What do you think is gonna happen out of all of this? Death, destruction, because who knows even if my mom is alive who really knows? It took four days for the state of Vermont or for my family members to even tell me about my special needs sister's death. Four days. Why? What were you covering up in the state of Vermont that you could not tell me that my sister died? What? And then I helped my mom through this ordeal. This horrific horrific, unexpected ordeal because my special needs sister didn't get her heart medication that she needed and was left alone with no protection in a house where people were calling her. They were scaring her on the phone. They knew that my father passed away. They knew my mom had been taken away and put into a nursing home, one that abuses her. And they knew my sister was vulnerable. The state knew it. The state's workers knew it. And obviously they don't care. They don't care so much that they're allowing the mom, my mom, to be isolated, to 
be put in a room with a roommate that may have had the COVID-19 virus, but they never tested my mom one time. Sometimes, in fact, they would give her medication that would cause diarrhea, but they didn't want you to know. They didn't want me to know. And so they silenced my mom by banning me, her connection, the one person that she looked forward to twice daily to speak to for under 20 minutes a day when she has many hours in the day to get through. They banned our communication. Is this the free America that we live in today? It doesn't seem so free. It doesn't seem like America. Not to me. Why would somebody take away your love? Your life. Why would they do it? Why would they allow it for six weeks? And then why would somebody tell you to get an attorney to do the right thing? Which is to correct the error that was wrong. And, and I tried to get an attorney. I tried for six weeks, actually. The problem is I live out of state. The in-state attorneys in Vermont are so democratic or they fear the Democratic Party because that's Bernie's backyard that they won't even help out. It's out of their jurisdiction, they say kind of like the state that I live in. So, were my last words to my mom on President Trump's birthday with us both wishing him a happy birthday? I don't know. Because it was the Elder Awareness Abuse Day on the 15th of June when that lying nursing home staff banned me from talking to my mom. And if you don't believe me, then why don't you listen to the tape? I love you, Mom. I didn't abandon you. And I would never never neglect you. I know in your heart you know that. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I believe. You believe. We believe together. God watch over you and bless you. Because I love you and I will always hold you dear in my heart. and kisses your daughter